baby so this is my v part jerry curly wig from nadula here i'm going to go ahead and show you inside of the wig so basically as you can see inside kind of have the traditional look where you have the clips the adjustable band but for this one it have five clips at the top that you would normally you know probably stuck in your corner or something so you know that the wig is all in place seeing that it's not a frontal or a closure that you'll need glue to install or whatever the case is so this is what the clips looks like for the v part so basically these clips will hold the wig together what i really love though and i think this is like a new style but they have a lace around the v part so it give more of a natural look which is really really nice so yeah i'm just showing you guys what it looks like so just watch and see and look and observe and see if this is something you're probably interested in because you know this is i think this is just a on the go wig like it's just so easy to deal with so easy to install nothing that would take a long time clipping in the wig i went ahead and brushed it up because i wanted to reform the curl so what i'm going to do is go ahead and kind of like fluff the part that's what i see a lot of youtubers do so it's my first time trying to be part wig so i'm just doing the same thing trying to like fluff the part to see if it will give more of a natural look but you know i'm trying to do my thing with this wig because as i said it's something new to me and i really wanted to try to see if it probably would give me a different look it's okay but it's not something i would just get up and do on a regular day i think i'll stick to my closure and my frontals or just my natural hair will probably look a ponytail but i try my best to give it a little look further down the video you'll see where i go ahead and put the clippings in more so just the part show and not my hair because what i realized was my hair was uh, number one and this wig is giving like a natural vibe so my hair was actually darker than it. So now I'm gonna go in with some spray to kind of like get the hair moist and stuff. So I'm using a leave-in conditioner because I could have found my spray bottle. So I'm using some leave-in conditioner and I think it will work the same way because what I'll do is like add conditioner to it so it can help to give that you know nice luscious curly vibes so that's what i'm doing right now and um, basically after that i'll just brush it so you guys can see what it looks like with softer curls and what you know we started off with initial 
most of you guys probably wondering why she doing a voice over when she's talking in the video i'm doing a voice over because after recording the entire video i realized that the audio was trash and then i found out that something was actually wrong with my camera speaker so now i'm out of a camera because it's at a tech shop just keep your fingers crossed and pray for me and with me that it is nothing major and probably need some cleaning but yeah let's get back into the video so as you can see here i went ahead and put in the wig more so the part looks a little bit more realistic and not so weird like when we just started off so this is what it looks like um all the information about this wig is done in my description box if you're interested in it i prefer the wig to the back because i'm not a fluffy ear type of person and i'm getting this vibe from this wig. well it's a jerry curly wig so that is expected so i placed the wig at the back and seeing that it's a v part wig i never want to like struggle to do like a side v part so i just stick to the center which i know will be better but it's cute it's okay not something i said that i will get up and wear on a random day but if you're you know people like these things i think people with natural hair would really love a wig like this and yeah so just go and get it like y'all know what to do period <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 